I can already tell this is going to be a lot of fun. Yo, what's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a first look and map tour of Glazebrook by Steve's Mods. This is a map that is being working on for all platforms. There is no release date at the time of recording and Dutch Modding is working on traffic patterns, custom traffic for this map. I am so excited to be able to bring it to you. We're just kind of doing a little bit of a flyover right now. This map features seven individual farms that can be purchased individually. You've got two cows, two sheep, one pig, a chicken, and a horse farm as well. You got seven different cell points on the map, 108 fields ranging from small to medium and medium large as it were as well. You've got multiple logging areas, flat areas, gradually sloping regions, and sharp drop-offs at a quite a few of these places. Including, look at this. Look, this is, it's a highway. Love that. <laughs> and there is so much more to this map than meets the eye. So you know what? Let's jump over to our main farm and let's get a little bit of a map tour in. Before we start the map tour, let's take a look at the map itself so we know where we're starting and where we're going. So this is where we start right here. We've got tons of equipment. Things may change. So if you see a piece of equipment or something like that, you may not see it in the final version. Just keep that in mind. But we do have quite a few things and we've got a couple fields that we start with. So we start with our main farm area right here. We also get field 18. We have field 33, nine and one. Now one and let's see. Well, one's the only one that is a grass field. Everything else is going to be crop fields. So that is pretty cool. Very interesting there. Down through here, our main farm is a cow farm, and we also get a farm silo on there as well. And we're right on it. So let's jump out. You see, we start with a couple different trucks right there. Uh, we do have some lighting, which is very, very nice. Get that turned off. Let's come around through here. And let's check this main farmyard out. Let's go up into the air. And here you go. Here's everything that you get. Pretty straightforward farm. Uh, very straight, as it were. So you've got things on the right and the left with a main area down the center that you've got everything. Of course, here you've got all of your equipment. You've got your silo right there. The silo is a standard base game silo. However, it has been built into the map. So that is pretty darn cool. You've got all this over here as well. So we got some storage areas. Of course, you have your shed right here. Beautiful, beautiful areas. A whole lot of equipment to start with, at least right here. Moving around through. If we open up just a little bit, this may look familiar because, well, if you're used to Charwell, this was on Charwell as well, probably a couple other ones. And then we have big bunker silos, huge bunker silos. And then you have everything for your cow. So that is cool. Through here. We could take a look. We've got some more storage. So we have straight through storage there. We open this up. We have a drive through storage. So a little bit different, but I do like that very much so. And then through here, we open this up. Can we creep under it? <laughs> yeah. We've got some more storage through here as well. Again, huge equipment. I mean, tons and tons of equipment. I doubt we will see all of this when it comes to the final version because, well, there's a lot of it. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt we'll see it all, but that's okay. There is, there's nothing wrong with that. Very beautiful, very, very humbling farm at that. So that is your primary farm, 500 cows. Again, as I said through here, you come right here, turn some lights on. So you do get outdoor lighting and indoor lighting. Well, there's one farm, but like I said, we have seven individual farms. So let's take a tour around. Where are we going to go from here? Well, we're gonna go in a counterclockwise movement. So we're actually going to be going up the road and around down through here to the sheep farm. So let's click visit. Let's go up into the air and see what we're working with. This is a much smaller, much more humble farm than the very first one. We've only got three buildings on this one. But that's really all you need when doing sheep. You don't need this huge, crazy amount. So let's jump down to the ground. Boop. And let's take a look at this one. So going through here, you can see we've got a place to feed the sheep, place for water, and we jump in here. Got some openings. You do have a door here, though there is no opening or closing door there. So that is, uh, is what it is. Nice placeable area, so you can place down whatever you need to here. And then you've got 
a larger shed. Maybe you want this to be your only farm. Well, you can do that. You can purchase it for $89,000. It's not that expensive. It's really very affordable. So very cool, very nice. Like I said, humble farm. Now, we're going to go directly north where we're going to find our horse paddock. Now through here, this is a little bit bigger of a farm and it's located near quite a few other things as well. So you can take a look and see, we've got multiple areas on this farm, some similar sheds that you've seen on the others, but like I said, it's quite, uh, well, not basic, not standard. It's familiar. There you go. It's familiar. Beautiful area through here. Lots of detail. Again, things like truck with bells and stuff that just, it doesn't have to be there but it is there and I do really like that. Let's go down to the ground. Let's see what we can see from the ground. Well, you've got a place for your horses right here. This is going to be for water. You've got your food area over there. If we jump around, this is where you could buy them. You could do eight horses on this farm. You do have a house as well, though there is no sleep trigger. You could place down your own if you'd like those. So there is that coming down through here and a main area down through here. Leave straw, something like that gonna pop up through there so that is pretty nice more buildings more sheds <laughs> you guys know that i love having sheds open areas not my thing but covered areas let's go and again more areas around through here one thing that i really like about this farm is that it's open so you can use a little bit larger equipment through here uh, maybe you're not doing just animals maybe you've got horses and you do arable stuff well you could do that through here without any problems I love it, really do. And if you purchase it, it is going to cost you 133,000. It comes with this whole area right here. Now, from there, if we go left up by the shop, we're going to get another farm. This is our second dairy farm, second cow farm. Let's go up into the air so you can check it out and see kind of what's going on. Again, very standard. There's not a, there's not actually a whole lot of buildings through here. This was a very popular picture that Steve posted um, very early in the process of creating this map. So that's pretty cool. If we come through here, let's go down to the ground. Boop. We get some storage areas here on the right. We do have the uh, cow paddock right here. Let's go ahead and cut a light on because we can see ah, outdoor lighting only. We have some indoor lighting, maybe. I'm sure we do. I just don't know where it is, but let's jump out of there. This is probably it. Yep. Pretty standard. There you go. All right. Through here, of course, you got milk, everything that you need, more storage buildings, and you get a bunker silo as well. So it is nice to have a bunker silo on the cow farm. That way you can make all your silage there, do what you need to do. Probably if I'll poo. And if we come around here, we've got si or, uh, slurry, not silage. We've got slurry through there. So we've got all that. You don't actually need to go straight through. You can actually just kind of creep around the backside and you're good to go. What do you guys think about that? Very nice. Yet again, very nice farm. Let's jump out from here. Let's see where we are and see where we want to go. Well, we want to go to the pig farm because that's our next farm area that we can purchase. This one, again, very, uh, very straightforward about where everything is and what it does. Let's go up into there just a little bit so you can see. So we do have a covered area right here. You've got your pig area through here. You got your little baby piggies. The, uh, she, was that the, um, Shiggy Piggy? Yeah, <laughs> Shiggy Pig Farm. So you've got all that. We go up into the air just a little bit more coming around through here. We do have a nice large area where you can park vehicles, that kind of thing. You've got an area for your pigs there. So you've got not only an indoor, but an outdoor area for pigs, which is very, very nice. If we come through here, let's see. Uh -huh, I see what he's done. So he's put some of these... Uh, put some of these crates right there so that you can't drive through. I like that. I think that's neat. Again, manure. Straw. This should look very familiar. I believe this is either the same one or something very, very similar to the one that we've got over on Sandy Bay. So, again, very similar, very familiar looks for everything, which is quite nice. Now, the only thing that... Do ah, it's right here. 300 pigs. So, you've got 300 pigs. And you have your slurry right there. So that is Shiggy Big Farm. Now what? Well, if we go straight down, we get some chickens. We're going to go down here. If you guys are curious, we bump out. We started down here. And we are now here. 
So let's select and let's take a look. You've got your chickens through here. Of course, eggs are gonna drop, all that good stuff. Let's see if we can figure out where to buy the chickens. Let's see. And of course, this is an earlier build of the map, so the purchase point for that may not be there yet. More just a map tour, not a map featurette. So we got some areas through here again, some nice storage, smaller storage, but storage nonetheless. And then we have a much larger storage area here. Again, you'll see similar buildings across the map, but it makes it easy, it makes it nice, and you know what's where. So I really like that. You do have a nice placeable area out here. If you need to place anything down, do what you need to do. Hippity hoppity through, and that's it. That is this entire farm. Very small, very compact, but you've got a large building. It lends itself to being able to be purchased by itself. Again, 47,000 for that farm. If you want to buy the pig farm, a little bit more expensive, 218,000 there. This uh, cow farm, uh, 106. So you've got multiple different uh, prices depending on your, uh, <laughs> your price availability. And we have one more, and it's gonna be right here. This is your second sheep farm. So if we go around, take a look, this is it. Pretty standard, not a whole lot going on. You've got your place for food. You got your place for water. If we whoop, jump out of here, you've got places to store equipment. You do have a nice big grass pasture right here as well. It's individually purchasable, so you don't actually own that with the land. I do like that Steve made it to where you can buy each thing individually. Maybe I don't care about that land. Maybe I'm just purchasing everything generally. So. Maybe I don't need that. 250 sheep on this one. Storage. Very nice. And we even get a silo on this one. So you've got a kind of a pull under silo right here. Might even do something with that tree. Move it over just a little bit. But nonetheless, you've got an area through here where you can do what you need to do with your silo. Now, that is, in a sense, all of our... Oh, <laughs> I got hit. <laughs> this is... If you guys are curious, this right here is actually a screenshot. It was either... From here, maybe here, maybe around through here, something like that. We showed this off in Farm Sim News. I think the title was Dutch Modding Confuses Me with Dots and Lines. Um, they're doing custom traffic splines on this map. I don't think I've got the version with custom traffic on here yet. Um, I think that's something that they've just recently started working on. And then if we make our way down the road, we will find ourselves very, very close to our main farm which is through here. And this is where we started. So it's a smaller feeling or smaller looking map, but a larger feeling map. There's a lot going on and a lot of different things. So we mentioned that seven farms, different ones. We have seven cell points as well. So we've got a uh, sugar beet cell point. Ooh, I am in the air right now. Oh, I remember this one. Hold up. Yo, check this out. All right, where is it? It's over here check this place out so we're gonna walk over this is one of the neatest cell points not only that all of the cell points on here are one of the neatest cell points that i've ever seen so through here our cell points are inside we come through open this up boo, boo. dude <laughs> you've got a place for storage you've got a place for selling how cool is that and then through here these aren't finished yet but more storage so you could store stuff um these are the sugar or potato sugar beet um which is what it's called right now and you'd be able to well, store or uh, sell all that stuff but the great thing is too you can store stuff here now you're gonna have to dump it but you can do that which i think is pretty neat coming around and we've got more we've got a whole lot more up here this is another really cool cell point so we've got your uh green bins and everything over here this is your cell point and then if we go into here i imagine in one of these we're gonna find exactly what we're looking for there it is right there so you've got another cell point more storage area again things that didn't have to be there but they are thank you thank you thank you steve for that you guys think about that i think it's really cool you don't get to see neat like Really cool, neat cell points like that on on maps like this. I love that. I think that's so cool. Good crossover point here. You do <laughs> an area that doesn't have to have it, but it does. And I love it. 
old man. Hey, speaking of, we got some stuff over here on the right. Unfortunately, I'm on the wrong road to get to it. <laughs> Let's see if we can jump down here a little bit. Wee! This is your store. There you go. I don't know how to say that, but this is where you're going to be able to buy all of your animals and through there. So you've got that there. We do have a gas station out here, which does serve as a fuel station. Fuel 24 hours. Thank goodness. What are we paying right now? I don't know if that's good or not. Somebody tell me if that's good or not. <laughs> and then through here, we have our spinnery down here on the left. So if we rock through, boop, spinnery. You guys know how those work. Do what you need to do. Sell the stuff there. Now, moving along, we do have our BGA. And BGA is very important, especially on maps where you've got cows and things like that. Maybe you'll have some extra silage, things like that you need to sell. Well, this is where you're going to be able to do it. So here is your digester. Drop in, do what you need to do there. You do have your silage pit, so you can make some silage while you're here. Got some things that make it look not boring, <laughs> I think is the best way to say it. Um, some things that make it feel alive and feel real, you know? So I think that's really, really neat. If we come around through here, you've got your digestate, which is going to pop right here. I don't know if we're manure system compatible or not. So that may be something to take a look at in a future video once we finally get a final version of this map. But that's pretty cool. I, th I mean, I say I think it is. It's really cool. And we got a sawmill way up here. Sawmill, very standard stuff. You got wood chips, you got wood, and it is good. <laughs> so there you go. Got two uh, two points of sell right here. I wonder, wonder what's going on. So sell wood. Uh, this one doesn't do anything. Okay, so again, uh, this is a early build of the map, so there may be some things that change the way things look, that kind of thing, but they're not going to come through and change the entire map. How's about a little bit of roundabout? Y'all like that? I like that. Quality timber merchants. Merchants. Where are we? Where do we need to be? Well, we checked out the biogas plant. We got a couple more down here, and that is going to be grain cell and shop. So these haven't been named yet. Myself, DJ, you're outside. Yes, we are. I need to get inside. There we go. Uh, go here and run across. Let's go. Should be through there. Well, I did not go the right way to get in here, did I? <laughs> That's one thing. All right, so let's find the exit. Hey, right here it is. And we will work our way in. What? Check this. Look at this. Ha, gotcha. Nothing. <laughs> Should be over here. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Don't trick you. So there you go. There's your cell point right there. Again, I love that you have to do that. These open as well. These open as well. Bruh. Just a small little area. Things that didn't have to exist, but do. And I like that. Get out of your birds. That's super cool. This is also a massive storage area. Going to be hard to get some things in here, but you can fit a lot of it in here. Also, you've got a really neat entrance right here as well. Check this out. Broom, broom. <laughs> and then another logging area right here too. So that's pretty cool. And lastly, let's take a look at the shop. Let's go this way. And our shop is going to be right here. Ooh, it might be at the wrong place. Shop? Is it? Huh. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Let's. Wow, they are slow motion. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> let's get ourselves a vehicle and let's see what pops up. Let's get one of these. Did it pop up there? Nope. Where did it pop up? Popped up right here. Here, which is oh shop that's so the shop is just the logo is at the wrong place but this is our main shop area you can see in here probably seen this this one from charwell it looks like one similar to charwell so going through actually there's one way to find out wow that opens slow come through here see the wall yep same one from charwell so there you go got some logos i need to get hey put me on there <laughs> I'm messing with you. Uh, let's see. We got some really cool stuff in here. Some broken down equipment, things like that. Another door here. Very cool. I love seeing things like that. 
just makes the place feel alive, it makes it feel good. Other than that, we do have one area here. I believe this is the only area that we haven't shown off. This, this is our seed purchase point. So you can come right here and buy the seeds that you need. It also kind of looks like the outdoor section at Lowe's or Home Improvement. So I think that's kind of cool. Got through here, it looks alive, it feels lived in, it feels busy, it feels like things actually go on here. Get some money, because we always need money. But if we take a look, I believe that is everything that we've shown on the map. So there you go. That is Glazebrook in a nutshell by Steve's Mods, a map made for all platforms. Again, there is no release date. It is being worked on right now, and I'm following along closely on the news of this and taking a look and letting you guys know anytime something changes or we get something new. So make sure you stay tuned. But at the end of the day, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here at the channel. And make sure you check out Steve's Mods as well as Dutch Modding in the description below. Check them out and show them some GoHam fam love. All being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace.